So this is definitely not an easy question to solve. See, when you read the question itself, you will be able to understand, right? The number n is formed by writing 9 99 times. I need to find what is the remainder if n is divided by 13. So basically what you need to find here is n is written, 9 is uh, written how many times? Let's say 9, 9, 9 goes on like that. Total 90 nine times you are writing nine okay 99 times are there in total i'm going to divide this by 13 and i need to find what is going to be a remainder clear i need to find what is going to be a remainder so it's not a practical idea to like you know divide that big number right it's not a practical idea so what you need to figure out here is you just need to understand is there any pattern that you can find so in these type of questions okay keep in mind first thing you need to first thing is it's not an easy question to do okay and uh, next thing you need to keep in mind is what what is the is there any pattern you can recognize here let's start with one nine okay so i'm going to try out different possible scenarios let's say you're starting with one nine are there when you divide this number by 13 what is the remainder i'm going to find out what is the remainder for all the possible scenarios let's start with one nine so 9 when you divide by 13, the remainder is 9 itself. So any number when you're dividing by a number greater than that, the remainder will be the same as 9 or same as that number, right? Because 9 when you divide by 13, the remainder will be same as 9. Now I'm trying to take this next scenario. What happens if there are two 9s? 99. I need to find the remainder when you divide by 13. So what is a close multiple of 13 here? 19, uh, 13 times... Uh, uh, 7, 13 times 7 is 91. 91 is a close multiple. So you have a leftover is 8. 8 is going to be a remainder here in this case. So what happens if there is a 3 9? I'm, I'm going to try it out to see if there is a pattern you can find. Okay, I'm not sure about it. Even there is some uncertainty there. I'm just trying it out. Okay. So what happens if uh, you are, uh, if there are 3 nines, I'm dividing by 13, what would be the remainder? So you don't need to entirely divide again and again, right? Because I already know that 99, if you divide by 13, 8 is a remainder. I can use it. So you have 8 is a leftover. So what I need to do, find out the remainder when 89 is divided by 13. That's it. What is the remainder here? I need to find out the remainder. So I don't need to entirely start from again, the division part. So 89, when you divide by 13, I think uh, 13, 6 is uh, 78. So 11 is going to be your remainder. So 11 is going to be the remainder here. Now I'm going to try the next number. That is there are four nines. Okay. Four nines. I'm dividing by 13. Find the remainder. So I already know that when you divide three nines, the remainder is 11. So you have 11 carry or left over here. So the remainder is same as 119. You divide by 13. That's it. How, how it works. Right. 119 when you divide by 13, uh, 13 9s are uh, 117, 130 is 13 times 10 is 130, when you subtract 13, it, you are getting 117 is a close multiple, 2 is a remainder. So what happens if there are 5 nines? I am dividing 5 nines by 13, find the remainder, I am using the same rule, 4 nines when you divide it, remainder is 2, so you have 2 here. So 29 when you divide by 13, you just need to check that. Okay, 29 when you divide by 13, the remainder is a 26 is a close multiple, remainder is 3. So what happens if there are um, 6 9s? Total 6 9s when you divide by 13. I know that 5 9s, the remainder is 3. So when you divide this, you have 3 here. So you have one more 9. So 39 when you divide by 13, it's actually exactly divisible. So clearly I can say that if there are six nines, when you divide by 13, its remainder is zero. Now what happens when you are dividing seven nines? Seven nines, it's actually a cycle you can see, right? When you divide by, when there are seven nines, let's say if there are seven nines, okay, total seven nines, when you divide by 13, I know this is going to be zero, remainder is zero. So again, you have one nine. When you divide by 13, it's going to be the same repetition. It's going to be nine. Then if there are eight nines, it's going to be eight. Then 11, two, three, zero goes on like that. So it's going to be a cycle. You can see a pattern here and you can see how the pattern is repeating, right? 
So if there are six nines, the remainder is zero. Similarly, if there are 12 nines, the remainder will be zero. So any multiple of six. So if there are six, 12, 18, 24, that much nines, the remainder is going to be zero. So here in the question, there are 99 times you are writing nine. So what I need to do is, what is the close multiple of six here? 96 is a close multiple. So if there are 96 nines, I can clearly say that the remainder is zero. So that means if there are 97 nines, you, the cycle repeats, you start from here, nine, 9 will be the remainder. If there are 98 nines, it's going to be 8. And if there are 99 nines, it should be 11. See, you can see the cycle here. So your answer has to be 11 here if you are able to identify the pattern. Again, I'm saying it's not an easy question. So if you're not able to, like, you know, find a way to approach the question, definitely you can skip this question. Okay, that would be my advice. So your answer is 11a. So in case if you're able, if you're planning to attempt this type of question, make sure that you look for a pattern like this. If you're able to find out a pattern, you'll be able to get to the answer very easily.